everyone, my name is Nicole. I'm an International Board Certified Lactation Consultant with Unimom. Today I'm going to talk to you about what lipase is and how it can affect your expressed breast milk. Lipase is an enzyme and it's present in all human milk and it helps break down the fat in your milk. If you have high lipase activity, that basically means that it's breaking down the fats in your milk before it gets into your baby's stomach. If you have high lipase activity, that basically means that it's breaking down the fats in your milk before it gets into your baby's stomach. It's also really important to remember though that this milk is not bad and it's perfectly fine and safe for your baby to still drink this milk. Usually you can tell that you have high lipase because your expressed milk will have a soapy or a metallic taste or smell to it. Now this can occur after it's been in the fridge for a little bit, but some moms don't notice this until after they've defrosted milk from the freezer. Some babies will take this milk and be totally fine with it, but some will refuse it. So if you determined you have high lipase activity and you want to prevent this smell and taste, you would have to scald your milk and you'd have to do this pretty soon after you express it. If you already have milk in the freezer and then start to notice when you're defrosting it that this has happened, you can't undo what's already been done. So you can't get rid of the smell or the taste that has happened because of the activity. My best suggestion would be to try to give it to your baby and see if they'll still take it. If not, I suggest you um, put some in with freshly expressed milk so you can kind of mask the taste and smell a little bit and see if they'll accept it that way. And then you can gradually increase how much of the frozen and how much of the expressed is in a bottle. Some other things you can do is save it and add it to solid foods. Once your baby's taking solids, you can use it for a milk bath. Or if you have a large amount in the freezer and your baby won't take it, you can consider making a donation of milk to the milk bank. So if you have any more questions about lipase, be sure to let us know. And I hope this was informative and helpful for you today.